hi guys welcome back to the channel my name is favor for those who are new here and i'm currently a master student at the university of glasgow and in this video i'm going to be taking you on a quick visit around six major places you can visit in glasgow they are fun places you're going to be having an amazing time and they are absolutely free so you don't have to pay any fee or fare whatsoever so come with me and let's have a great time the first on the list is the Ontarian Museum, which is located at the University of Glasgow. The museum was founded in 1807 and is Scotland's oldest public museum, home to one of the largest collections outside the National Museum. It's one of the leading university museums in the UK and its collections have been recognised as a collection of national significance. It's one of Scotland's most important cultural assets. It was founded on Dr. William Hunter's founding bequest. The museum continues in its age and enlightenment mission to be a central resource for research and teaching in the arts, humanities, natural and medical sciences, attracting all forms of scholars and visitors from around the world. The collections include scientific instruments used by James Watt, outstanding Roman artifacts, and major natural and life sciences holdings. The next stop is the Kevin Grove Art Gallery and Museum. It was first opened in 1901 and is a firm favorite for local people and visitors. It's got stunning architecture and a family-friendly atmosphere. With a display contained in over 22 galleries, you can discover lots of amazing things from animal to arts to ancient Egypt and even to Charles Rainey Macintosh and so much more. This 22 themed art gallery displays an astonishing 8,000 objects. The collections are extensive, wide ranging, and internationally significant. They include natural history arms and armor, arts from many art movements and periods of history and so much more. The most famous painting on display at Kelvin Grove is the Salvador Dali masterpiece, Christ of St. John of the Cross. There's also this gigantic Asian elephant which is one of the museum's big attraction. There's even a Spitfire plane hanging from the ceiling of the west court as you've rightly seen the museum also has a restaurant a cafe and a gift shop the next stop is the glasgow botanic gardens the gardens is located in the heart of the city's west end just by the river kelvin and contains a variety of plant collections woodland corpses and riverside walks as well as the famous kibble palace the kibble palace is a magnificent glass house designed by john kibble and houses the national collection of tree ferns, plants from tropical rainforests, which also grow in the palm house. The gardens open at 7 a.m. and the gardens are usually closed from 8 p.m. with the last entry at 7.30 p.m. After this time, the gardens are locked. They've also got great tea room and the tea room at the Botanic Gardens is also open daily from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. The garden is such a beautiful and relaxing place to spend the day. So whether you're interested in plants, history or just want to enjoy a peaceful walk in the park, the gardens have something to offer for everyone. The next place on the list is the Gallery of Modern Art. The Gallery of Modern Art is located just at the center of Glasgow and it contains four galleries, a library and a gallery shop selling a range of inspired collections within the gallery. The gallery provides a thought-provoking program including displays of local and international artworks from the city's collection alongside temporary exhibitions and events with artists. There is also a permanent display that charts the history of the building Goma, as the gallery is fondly called, is part of Glasgow's Civic Museum Services. It has a changing program of museums collection and loaned in exhibitions associated with public program. There is also an opportunity to visit the museum shop, a lovely library with free internet access, PCs and a cafe. About four minutes walk from the Goma is the iconic central city square called the George Square. Named after King George III, it's home to the headquarters of Glasgow City Council and showcases an important collection of statues and monuments. The next and final stop, which is the sixth free attraction, is the Riverside Museum. 
The Riverside Museum is the first purpose-based museum created by Glasgow Life in the 21st century. It's located at the junction of the rivers Kelvin and Clyde, and it houses the city's fabulous transport and technology collections. It's also a great reflection of the important part Glasgow has played in the world through its contribution to heavy industries like shipbuilding, train manufacturing, and engineering. With over 3,000 objects on display, there's everything from skateboards to locomotives, paintings to prams and cars, even to a stormtrooper. There are over 90 large touchscreen panels full of images, memories and films that tell fascinating stories behind the objects. A visit to the museum provides the ultimate day out. There's an incredible array of objects from skateboards and vintage cars to prams and powerful locomotives. You can't even walk down old cobbled Glasgow streets with shops dating from 1895 to the 1980s. The displays are so interactive and it's almost as though you were living at that time. Just outside the museum, you will find the tall ship Glenlee. It's the UK's only floating Clyde built sailing ship and it's absolutely free to enter. I even got to ring the bell on the ship. I absolutely recommend stepping on board this impressive ship where you'll find all sorts of display even to entertain kids. Interestingly, to entertain kids under five, they've got a play area in the cargo hold to mouse hunt. With this, we have come to the end of six free, fun and amazing places to visit in Glasgow. I like the fact that for most of these places, they hold great history, great monuments and it's so, so, so exciting. Right now, I'm at the Riverside Museum and I'm on this lovely lovely ship even though it's not moving it feels like it's moving and the wind is also giving it that effect so it's so lovely and i'm excited i get to see all of this and also share with are you. you also going to be visiting any of these spaces let me know in the comment section remember to like this video share leave a comment once again and subscribe to the channel if you haven't